So the seventh meeting video from the team is here. And this was booked by Nikhil. Once again, he really caught up speed initially. And this is like an Indian guy or like this part of the world right, as a continent. And he's in the US. So I think at some point, like it was a really long follow-up. So if you see, right, you know, it's like a lot of follow-ups going on. And still we haven't had the show up. So we keep following up. Sometimes, you know, you don't follow up regularly in terms of not every week, not every other day. Initially, the first two weeks, we follow up vigorously. But still, we have the email, right? We have the email, we have the name, we have the phone number, we have the conversation as the focal point, and we have them. So it's always going to be a follow-up. Like everyone who have said yes to us, we have the email that is a lead. And we have like about 150 to 200 leads. Our goal is to get like 3,000 of these leads so that we can have as many people coming in more and more moving forward. Let's listen to this. This is by Nikhil, and let's start. Hello. Hi, am I speaking with someone? Yeah. Hi, Rush, this is Nikhil. Uh, what? Hello? Yeah, what's this about? Would it be opposed to something like that? I mean, I'm a lender, so are you saying you're getting me a lead to approve or pre approve as a lender or for real estate? Um, for do you do mortgage? Yes. If that's what you're looking for. Okay. In which state? Um, what state are you licensed then? We can do all. You can do all fifty. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask you one question to understand a little bit better about it? Okay. Are you currently getting your applicants at the minute? Is it mainly referrals? Referrals. And then real estate uh, relationship. Okay. Okay. Can I explain how we do it? Can you tell me how that is? Just jumping into a meeting. Is there a way you can explain this to me? Maybe by calling me uh, sometime on Thursday? No, I was getting at. I can get you booked in with our chief strategist and you can explain the entire system in a lot more detail and answer any questions that you might have. Do okay, you have to answer me? It would have to be on Thursday. On Thursday. Okay, let me yes. check. Do you have time Thursday in the morning? Sure, what time? Um, 11 a.m.? Uh, Pacific time. Pacific time, yep. That's fine. Sure. And what's okay. the best email to share you the meeting link? Email.com. I really have to get off the call right now. Email.com. Have a great day, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now see, uh, the reason it is still not a show up because, because initially there was not enough command from our side. So he doesn't even know initially that what exactly the details of the, the process that we have, that we have pitched to him that he is interested in. What does that look like? Like, is there a deal breaker for him? He's like, oh, no, 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 that, that's not what I expected. So that is the reason when you don't have that. And if you feel like, you know, I'm just booking a meeting and someone says, yeah, yeah I booked a meeting. Uh, someone says yes to it. And then they shared an email, give you a time. That's not a booked meeting entirely. You can't be sure that, you know, you'll be able to get people to show up. You really need to have like, you know, really in-depth conversations, which gives them time to say no to it, right? And then you really dig deep into not service level conversations, but dig deep into this. Uh, that what exactly have you tried in the past? Or, you know, when exactly, uh, when you say this, you it sound like you are skeptical a bit. It sounds like there's some hesitation there, right? So that's what it boils down to. So if you really address that, they open up and the more they open up, they're invested in the conversation and they're invested in the relationship. So they can always see, okay, yeah, 20 minutes is not a big deal, right? And I can see myself doing that. So that's what happens. That's what happens. Let's see. Uh, that was on 15th of July, right? So two days later, because on the day of the appointment, it did not show up. So let's see what happens there. Nikhil calls back again. Hello. Hi, Rush. How are you doing today? Who's this? This is Nikhil. Remember, we had a conversation yesterday. Yeah, I don't, bro, because I even told you yesterday that, okay, Thursday or so would be good because yeah, no, 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 no. I, I was just wondering, did you receive our email confirmation yet? Uh, but someone else sent me the email, so it might have gone to my spam. Bro, I have a VA yeah. as well. He was like, who the hell is this? I didn't recognize the name or number. Yeah. No, because you said your email was email.com, but on your website, it, it, it wasn't with Nikhil. It was some other name that showed up. Yeah, so we didn't the company name. Uh, yeah, it, it, it might have been the company name. I will request it. I'm literally traveling, bro. I'm literally in a hotel room right now. No, no, I just wanted to ask you, your email, or is it the... Are same he has. Don't send the email to Gmail. Okay. Yeah, they see, okay, it's not a techie, but no. Yeah. Cool, man. Um, and I mean, I'm 31, maybe it's not smart, but I'm going to explain it. Yeah, see, Nikhil, you don't have that authority right now that he has, uh, that now he calls, calls questions out, calls situations out. And he was, it was like the first time he ever did calls. So it was the first week of him doing the calls, right? So see, like with zero experience coming in and with some basic understanding of, okay, this is the way you look at it. This is how you do it. This is how you don't do it. I uh, don't do this and don't do that. And that's how he, you know, tried 
a lot of things here are out of the script, but he has to improvise on the call. So there's like a lot of a lot of calls here. So there's like a lot of conversations like this, which is which never went anywhere. But after August second week, we said, okay, let's stop, give him one month break, and then we'll come back with some testimonials to hit him up. And then we'll have the conversation again and then we'll see what can be done. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the seventh meeting from the team I'm sharing here on the calls. Again, I'm looking for more better questions from you guys. If you really have something that you want to ask a question about, then do let me know. And apart from that, if you're like, you know what, I want to be part of the accountability community, which is not for everyone. So you really need to be sure that, okay, I can see myself going through the journey for at least next six months. And I have funds as well, because this is not a free community and I don't want you. First thing is like, I don't want you, but if you really want to be, then I will really connect I'm looking for connections. I'm looking for people who I can help you build agencies. And then from there, both of us can partner up and, you know, we can build something meaningful long-term. So I am really focused on acquisition, sales, and lead gen, cold calling, appointment setting, and sales. So that my acquisition is the main thing that I love doing. So I can help you build this part of the system in the community. That's what my goal is. And then inside the community members, we can have like competitions, accountabilities, targets. Uh, we will target like 10 clients in the next six months, the minimum. And uh, when you get a client, that's where we can have a revenue share or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what will that look like, but I really need people who is absolutely serious about building an SMMA. And it's like willing to go the extra mile and only then you can be a part of the community, right? But if you want, then you can also like WhatsApp me. My WhatsApp number will be given down the... A comment section or something, the pinned comment or something. And then you can we can see if there is something that I can help you out with and if there is something that you can show value in your connection with me. So it's not just about me anymore. It's about my team. It's like five, six members. So we have really big hopes uh, with this community on the side as well. And I'm looking forward to having conversations with as many like-minded people as possible. Thanks for watching once again. Do comment down below what exactly you felt the most valuable thing was in this uh, video. And I'm looking forward to your comments as soon as possible. Cheers.